Right, you guys got another video here for you on some of the best Microsoft Office alternatives of 2024. Now we all know that Microsoft Office or Office 365 is quite expensive and a lot of people opt for free versions or cheaper alternatives and we're going to look at those in this video. So Microsoft Office is the industry standard. A lot of businesses use it but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to use it. There is other options available which you can use which also accept the Microsoft Office file formats. And then we're going to go through those in this video. So first up is OpenOffice. OpenOffice has gained popularity among various professionals and organizations for its versatility and cost effectiveness. Now it's got quite a few downloads for this particular type of software. It does work with Linux, OS X, and many other platforms as well. So what can it offer you as a user? Well, if you are using, say, Office and you want to move away from Microsoft's platform, then you can use something like OpenOffice. It's free to download and use. It also allows professionals to open up and work on different file types which they receive from clients. So this not only helps to maintain a professional image, but also eliminates the need to request alternative file formats from that client which means if they send you a file and you need to open it and it's been sent from a Office Word file, you'll be able to open it up in OpenOffice 4. You can see it supports all the same features that Microsoft Office does, text documents, spreadsheets, presentation, drawing, uh, database, and also formula. So you've got all of these options available for you. This is your Word sort of document type uh, platform where you can do typing, letters and stuff like that and you'll be able to open and edit all these .dbx files right inside this software which has been sent from a office suite from microsoft so it does work uh, with this platform it's got a familiar user interface just like microsoft office but there is a couple of cons and we'll go through some of those the cons are uh, open office does not include any native cloud storage features also, it doesn't support any sort of real-time collaboration with other users. It's not supported on this particular platform. So OpenOffice is noticeably lack of its cloud support makes the collaboration nearly impossible, but it has all of the essential features needed to work with Microsoft Office formats, and that's one of its uh, plus sides. So if the cloud storage features and a real-time collaboration is not a deal breaker for you, then you can choose OpenOffice as an alternative to Microsoft Office Suite, which is free to use and it looks exactly like Microsoft Office. Let's talk about LibreOffice. This is a very popular common type of Office Suite that a lot of people always go to. It's free and it's open source. Now LibreOffice is probably one of the go-to Office Suites to replace Microsoft Office. It is a full suite and it offers all of the features that Microsoft Office does. It also is compatible with all Microsoft Office file formats. It's got an easy user interface and you can get very familiar with this particular type of software if you're coming from Microsoft Office. It gets frequent updates so you don't have to worry about updates. Again, some of the cons of this is extra templates have to be downloaded and installed manually, and there is no cloud support, and local software and storage only is available with this particular type of software. So if that's a deal breaker to you, then you'll need to find another alternative. But other than that, it's a really good uh, go-to if you want to stay away from Microsoft altogether and use something that is not attached to Microsoft. And you can use something like this, which is obviously community uh, run as well. This also supports 110 different languages. Also, LibreOffice uses the ODF open document format, and it also supports a wide range of other formats as well. So it's a pretty decent uh, alternative to Microsoft Office, in my opinion. So let's move on to number three, and we're going to be giving you another free alternative to Microsoft Office, and that's called FreeOffice. And you can see it supports Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and iOS and Android. So you can download this for free and download it for your personal use and business use if you want to. This also has a very familiar user interface if you're coming from Microsoft Office. It also supports touchscreen capability for all of your computers. If you have touchscreens, this will work with those. So if you're looking for a free and easy alternative to Microsoft Office, then FreeOffice 
suite is for you. The company software maker has been developing this particular type of office software since 1987. So he knows a bit about office software. Again, you are getting a complete office suite here for completely free and for both home and business use. So it's a pretty decent alternative. It does support DOCX, also XLSX and PPTX. It supports other formats as well and older formats like PPT and XLS. So it's a pretty popular type of choice for a lot of people that are trying to use an alternative to Microsoft Office. The new interface was launched this year. You can either use the old classic menu or the new modern menu. So let's move on to number four, which is called WPS Office. It works with Windows, Mac, and also Linux. It has four major feature modules, Writer, Spreadsheet, Presentation, and PDF. So WPS Office software was released in 2016 by a Chinese software developer called Kingsoft. It's available in English, French, German, Spanish, and Portuguese, Polish, and Russian. Now, WPS Office does offer uh, two tiers. It's a free tier and also a premium tier. The free tier allows you to use the writer, presentation, and spreadsheets. WPS Suite offers one gigabyte of free cloud storage for iOS and PC users, but the service is not yet available for Android. So the pros are it supports different file formats. It has a generous uh, free tier and also multi-language support. Some of the negatives are some features are premium only. Now the premium tier does allow users to connect up to nine devices at once. It also gets rid of those annoying adverts that are a complaint from a lot of people that use the free tier of WPS Office. So if you don't like adverts or annoying pop-ups, then I would avoid this uh, WPS Office suite altogether. But remember, if you're using a free product, then you are the product and they are going to promote their product with adverts to try to get you to upgrade to the premium version. And that's what a lot of companies do. I've never used this for any length of time, but looking at their pricing and also some of the ad pop-ups, it does get a bit annoying if I'm completely honest. And as you can see here is an example of it right here behind a paywall to get you to upgrade. And that's a real big no-no for me. But if it's okay for you, then WPS Office is that version there. Next, we're going to move on to number five. I think you pronounce it Caligra, but uh, it is supporting Linux free uh, BSD, Windows and Mac OS. So the good thing about this software is it's free and open source and it is an alternative to Microsoft Office. So this Office Suite was initially released in October 2000 and it's part of the K Office uh, group. So the big problem I have with this particular software is Microsoft Office compatibility issues. Now this software does allow you to read uh, DOCX and also DOX file formats but it cannot edit them. So you won't be able to edit those in here. And that could be a big negative for a lot of people. This can cause a lot of difficulties if you're reading a lot of different file formats and you need to edit those on the fly with this particular software. You're not going to be able to. So you can only read those files. And then you've got to ask the client to send you over a different file format. And this can cause a lot of problems. So for the business use, I think that would cause a few problems. But for a home user, it's probably not going to be so much of an issue. But these are my top five best alternatives for Microsoft Office. Now, if you have any other options available, then let other people know by posting those in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to read your comments again. But these are just my five that I would choose in replacement of Microsoft Office if you want to disconnect from Microsoft altogether and use a different Office suite, but you still need that file format and different languages. You can use something like these, and these are my options. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.